So today we're going to work wrist grabs. It's a very simple thing. Anytime somebody grabs your wrist, all you have to do is go towards the thumb. Because the thumb is your weakest leg. These four fingers are stronger than your thumb. Even though your thumb is it's thicker. It's like having four friends. You're a strong person by yourself or four normal people. I'd rather have four normal people than one strong person. So, we still are going to attack them. But I'm going to show you different ways to get out of any type of wrist hold. I also like using, I always say that anytime somebody has two hands on me anywhere, I'm going to win the fight. Because if my hands are free, then he's holding on to me, I have to win the fight. So we got to remember places to strike. Eyes, throat, groin, shin, or knee. So with that in mind, we're going to start different thumb uh, grabs. So, if she grabs both of my wrists like this, first I'm gonna kick her, just in case the person's very strong, then I'm gonna put my hands together, and I'm gonna step back with this foot, like my hands, if you look, they look, like go for a second, like they're praying. And I'm gonna step back and bring it to the opposite shoulder. From here, I can just let go, or I could either hammer fist the neck, punch the throat. So, again, doesn't matter how strong he is or she, because I can kick the shin or the groin. Put my hands together, weakest link is the thumb, pull. Hit, hit, or maybe not. Maybe it's just an idiot friend. Hey, what are you gonna do because you do Krav Maga and you just do this and get out. Okay, but look, problem is this. If my elbows go out, it's not gonna happen. My elbows have to be in and pull. So I can open up the thumb. So now let's say, she grabs with that hand across. Again, I can kick the shin, kick the groin, I can punch her in the face. She's got hand on me. But if it's just an idiot, I can go towards the thumb. All I have to do is just lift up and it's done because the thumb is the weakest link. Now she grabs with that hand, same thing. I could either kick the shin, kick the groin, stick her in the eyes, punch the throat, or if I want to be nice, I'm going to pull that my hand to my shoulder because the thumb is the weakest link, right? So now she grabs two hands on one. So I'm gonna make a fist again, kick the groin or kick the shin. If I wanted to punch the throat, stick them in the eyes. How can I lose if they grab me? Well, I don't wanna do that. So I can make a fist, come over the top, pull my fist, to open the weakest link, the thumbs, and hit my shoulder. And again, from here, closest weapon, closest target. Bam, bam. And if I wanted to put her in a point of reference, I can point a reference, three knees, decide what my objective is, tear the ankle. Um, my objective could be come around and start hammer, grab her by the hair, but I'm gonna grab her shirt not to hurt her, hammer her three times, and straight up. Most likely, I'm not gonna go that far. I'm just showing you how to escape from it, but we usually go to an objective and a point of reference. Or first the point of reference, then the objective. So we've done that, we've done that. Well, now my hands are up. This can happen a lot to women. You're drinking, you have your talking, and some guy grabs your hands and tries to stick you against the wall. You gotta, this one you have to do before they stick you on the wall. They stick you on the wall, we have to change it. I'm gonna do the same thing. Keep my elbows in, straight down. So she grabs, again, she's very strong, kick him, kick him. Now I do this, and I step back, pull it in, elbows in. If I grab it harder, if I grab, if I go with my elbows out, it's not gonna happen, especially if he's very strong. So I can kick, or if it's just a neighborhood idiot, hey, what are you gonna do when they do this in Krav Maga? Just pull it, elbows in. Elbows out will not work. So, the only one that's a little different is if I'm here and she grabs me from behind. Strong person pulls me back, I lose my balance, I'm in trouble. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step forward and, and I'm gonna clap my hands to escape. I might not escape, then I'll have to break her knee. Break her knee, if she comes in close, I've missed the knee. I can elbow and hammer fist. If she's far, I can hammer fist. Um, the neck, punch the throat. Remember, I don't punch the face, 
If I miss the throw, then I hit the face, it's okay. But I'm aiming a throat and neck because those are better knockout points. The throat and the neck. So in this one, hold real tight. Let's say it's a real strong guy and he went to pull back and when I came forward, I got stuck. It, I'll still do the same thing. I look back, kick the knee, and then they have to let go when I kick the knee. I get elbow, hammer, could go to a point of reference. Again, three knees, I like working in threes. And from here, I could do what I want. I might want to control her to bring her in her stomach. So get on your stomach, get on your stomach, get on your stomach. Put my knee on her back. For those of you that, oh, no, they killed somebody for putting the, the knee on the neck. No, I'm not putting the knee on the neck. On the back, and I have her control. If I was law enforcement, I can handcuff her. If I'm not, I can break the arm or don't move. I don't want any problems. So stand up. That's the, that was my objective there. There's so many objectives that that we could have. But again, from the back, and by the way, if you guys saw me, I didn't kick her knee. I'm telling you, kick the knee, but there's always gonna be the troll on social media, well, you said kick the knee and you kick the thigh. I know, because I tapped her thigh because I don't want to tap her knee and maybe hurt it. So I always, I practice the thigh, and you soft, very soft, but I know that if I want to break the knee, I have to go here. To break the knee, I hit here. If I just want to stop the person and not break the knee, I'll kick the thigh. So for practice, we kick the thigh. So I just came and showed you a lot of different um, ways. I mean, this one just came to my mind. She grabs me, I'm standing sidewards, grab, which, well, if it's with two, I, I have to come here. She grabs with one, all I'm gonna do is the weakest link, bring it here. So always, and there's a lot of other ways. I've seen the coming around, that also works. Just think, anytime, someone grabs you, you go towards the thumb. And any time that I have one or two hands free, I should win the fight because I can stick them in the eyes, punch the throat, whatever it takes. So again, this video was, I kind of went a little bit off with the point of reference and the objectives, but it's on, what I want you to stick in your head is, anytime they grab you, you go towards the thumb. And yes, she did grab me soft, doesn't matter. I don't care how strong you are. If I kick you in the shin, you're gonna do this. But if I miss the shin and hit something else, it's still gonna hurt them and then I'll have to do whatever the technique is. And again, who do I fear the most? Mechanics. You got some of these guys that got these gorilla mechanic hands and when they grab you, you really have to move fast with your perfect technique, elbows in and everything. So again, different ways that they grab your wrist always go towards the thumb.